Okay, guys, so. This is, for those of you that don't know, today, well, the day that I'm recording us, Jimbo Reed just launched their brand new Jimbo Reed. And I am going to say I am not the only one upset about this. If you go to their Facebook page, there is lots and lots and lots of customers that are very disappointed in this. So, my kids have grown up wearing jewelry. Before they were born, I used to, anticipation to have kids, I bought lots of jewelry clothes because I absolutely loved their baby toddler lines, like their matchy matchy lines. Like they would come out with like three to five different outfits per line that were mix and match pieces. They would have like matching hats, especially like the, ba the babies would have like matching hats or bows, matching blankets, matching bibs, socks, booties, shoes, you name it. It was from like, it was like literally their lines were from head to toe. And some of them even had matching shoes. Some just had matching socks. But they were always super cute. And there were numerous times that I wouldn't necessarily be able to find the correct size in my store. So that I'd either go online or if it was something that I found on clearance, I'd go onto an eBay or a buy sale site knowing I could find matching pieces to this because there was more than once I'd find uh, outfit or like a onesie on sale at Jimbury that I fell in love with and I knew there was a lot more to match it. So I'd go hunting for the matches. So today they dropped their new and improved Jimbury. And this is what I am talking about when I say it, lots of people are upset about it. First I'll click on the newborn. So, when I first went to the news site and hearing people talking about it, I'm like, it can't be that bad. I went to the site. So let's try newborn girl. Basically, this is exactly like what I would find at Gap.com, OldNavy.com overpriced carters is some of it really it's it's not that great like where is the matching adorable cute lines so we have got this romper that is $30 and it is seriously a basic romper it looks like it has two pockets on the bottom and the front has like a button down the front and it's white and pink striped for $30, I can get some rainbow, we'll bring up the quick look to make it a little bit bigger, some rainbow pajamas, which aren't even as cute as the Carter pajamas that have rainbows on them. Like literally the rainbows here are like a uh, hot pink, light pink, and mustard. And possibly it looks like there might be mint in it. Uh, yeah, not very cute at all. And scrolling down, this is probably the only thing that I would purchase, which it being on clearance is telling me this isn't even a new item. And that's because it has little llamas on it. Only reason why I'd buy it is because of the llamas. And crystals are my llama thing. But then you get you scroll down a little bit more. And these are even on clearance, but they're on clearance for twenty or nineteen ninety nine from twenty nine ninety five. They honestly like this this romper right here. Whoa! How old is my cousin's son? He's sixteen. When he was one, I would go to Children's Place, and they would have a rack of rompers that were exactly like this. They might not be black. But it would be colorful. It had the little frill on the edge. And it would say something like Ray of Sunshine. Very similar. This like almost bubble suit. On clearance for 19 
looks exactly like Carter's. Like, looking through their stuff, even their clearance stuff lately, looks a lot of overpriced Carter's clothing. This is just pure knockoff of Carter's, and it's on clearance for $9.99. And Carter's basic rompers like this go on sale a lot for, like, $4.99. I've gotten some as cheap as $3.99. Yeah, and on clearance, I've gotten them for, like, $2.99. I am just sorely disappointed in what Jimblery has become. And as you can see, these are getting into older things. So this is, like, Easter. So we've got these cute eyelet dresses, and then baby's first Easter. Some bunny stuff from Easter, which you can see it's still matching stuff because these were their older lines. Like, right here, we've got lemons. Um... I'm not sure if this is supposed to go with this. There's a little ladybug here. This one's called Farm. I don't know what's on Oh, it's a little farm on it. There's a strawberry. There's farm print. Another strawberry. A cute panda. And then we get back into the new and improved Jimbori. Once again, looks identical to what I could buy from Gap, Old Navy, or Carter's. I used to go to Jimblery because they stood out. Like, you could see a kid wearing a Jimblery outfit and you knew that outfit came from Jimblery. Like, $18 for a bodysuit and all it says is... Let's click on it and see what it says. Hello, sunshine. And it's that... Oh, it did have kind of a minter blue. That's that rainbow that was on the pajamas that it's doesn't stand out. Like, if I saw a baby wearing these, I wouldn't necessarily scream jimblery. This, the, the new lines in baby do not scream jimblery. And look at this lovely, uh, right here. It, it's a knit rainbow for a mere $68. Or a chewy deer toy for $24.99. A pack of just basic onesies, you get three of them, for $39.50. Like, their prices have gone up. And none of this stuff is really that cute. And once again, like, this is what I would expect from Jimblery, an embroidered top. And once again, clearance, so this is an older. Velour pants. Not, I would expect that from Old Navy. Gap, possibly, to go with this very plain, and in my opinion, not cute rainbow bodysuit. And you're looking at $40 just for the bodysuit and the pants. So I, I am sorely disappointed when I started looking at the baby stuff. And I was told, yeah, the baby stuff is mild in comparison. And I'm like, comparison to what? They're like, go look at the kids' clothes. So I went over and clicked on girls' clothes. And what do I find? Things that I can find literally at the children's place. Basic screen print or even um, that plasticky applique print shirts. Yeah, they are two for 12 or two or more $12 each. You can get basic leggings that I can find at Carter's because when we were at the Mall of America, we saw signs all around because I was kind of complaining about this and I will admit that I was upset that Carter's stopped at size six. And the lady's like, oh, haven't you heard? We now go up to size 14 in stores. Where our fall line coming in are going to go up to size 14. I am like freaking out because my son loves Carter's. So that means that my daughter can still continue to wear Carter's. And Carter's has really great sales. Carter's has better sales than two or more for 14 each. On leggings that look like they came from Carter's. Like, I have Jimblery leggings for my daughter. And they, I mean, they have their classic leggings like these. 
that match everything. But their leggings always matched a shirt. They always had a line that it matched. A lot of the leggings are just boring and plain now. And my camera battery is flashing at me. So I'm going to click on, I think it was dresses. That's where I went next. These dresses look like mini teens. There's a few that I would maybe consider for my daughter. But a lot of these dresses, the new ones that just came out, once again, look like something I could get at Old Navy or Gap. And they don't stand out. They don't scream Jimbo Ray. And if I'm going to pay Jimbo Ray prices, I would want Jim A, Jimbo Ray quality, B, Jimbo Ray cuteness, C, Jimbo Ray. Like, I can see a child wearing that down the street and say, that came from Jimbo Ray. Basically, in my... Sorry, guys, my battery died on me. But... The prices of these, like $44.50 for this dress right here, that it looks like it came from every other store. In fact, I was looking at dresses for my daughter at Target when we were in Minneapolis. And I found so many cute ones at Target that did not cost almost 50 bucks. So by the time you add tax in there, it's pretty close to 50 then, like, the, I, I don't even know what's going on with this kind of hideous dress. And some of these things, like, if I really wanted my daughter to wear this stuff, I would shop at Justice. A few of the things that I've been seeing on this website. It's like, I would take her to Justice and let her pick something out. Like, a lot of these t-shirts, once again, look exactly like stuff that came from the children's place. Very, very similar to Children's Place. And Children's Place doesn't charge, well, just a plain white t-shirt is $16.50. Um, this one that's, uh, I believe it's screen print. Feature, yeah, screen print for $18. And it's not, I mean... It's not a, I need to have that shirt. None of these are screaming that I need to buy this for my children. And that's the girls. Let's try the boys. Because I honestly haven't even been to the boys section yet. Because I was so disappointed in the girls. Yeah. This looks exactly like I could buy at, like, Old Navy or Gap for him. Even some of it, like, cheaper going to children's place. And when we were at the Mall of America, yeah, they're now into the new skinny jeans. My son absolutely loved Jimbo Ray's jeans because they gave him extra room. And with him having autism, he was a sensory kid. Not many places, a lot of places want just skinny jeans. And he has skinny legs, but he doesn't like the confinement of the skinny jeans. And it frustrates him if I would buy something like that for him. And I, I mean, these clothes look like they came from any other basic store. And another thing people have noticed is they now have gotten rid of 4 and 5T. So once your child gets from newborn, which is up to 24 months, they can go into baby boy, which is 0 to 3, or baby which is zero to three. And then after three, they have to go into the big kids. And once again, the appeal of Jimble Ree was they had really cute stuff that was age appropriate. My son wore Jimble Ree for the longest time because he was big for age. He was tall for his age. A lot of places got rid of the quote babyish clothes at size 24 months. Well, he was wearing size 24 months around one years old and so when he was two years old it was like going into the little kids section and a lot of that isn't a pro I didn't feel was appropriate for a two-year-old 
So I was able to go to Jimblery and buy stuff in the baby boy section, which went up to 5T, and get stuff that looked cute and made him look appropriate for his age, not just his size. And... I mean, here, I'll just click on the new arrivals. Once again, it's just, it's basic stuff that I could get other places. And, and it just, it frustrates me that, I mean, they're already having problems. Jimbo Reed already had major problems. And they were closing a bunch of the stores. And what didn't make sense to Crystal, Heather, and I when we were at the Mall of America is... There's a Janie and Jack in the Mall of America, but there's no Jimblery or Crazy 8, which Jimblery owns Janie and Jack and Crazy 8. I, we went into Janie and Jack, and when we walked in, there were two other ladies in the store. Neither of them purchased anything. They were just kind of looking at stuff, and they literally, one lady picked one thing up, looked at the price, and they left. We were in that store probably 20 to 30 minutes. We were in there not a whole long time because, I mean, it's a tiny store. We were about to actually leave the store, but Crystal found this one outfit, and she had me, I think she had me record it, her little rant in the store about the prices. And honestly, that was the first time I'd ever been into an actual Janie and Jack. And... I was not impressed. I was not impressed by the prices. Like, even the clearance prices was a, a white, basic white onesie, like a Gerber onesie. All it said on it was Janie and Jack. No pictures, no color, and the Janie and Jack was in gray. That was on clearance for $19.99. And I'm thinking, wow, this is not worth $19.99. Just... To be able to say your baby is in a Janie and Jack onesie. And while we were in that store, nobody else came into that store. As we were leaving, literally as we were walking out of the store, I believe Heather and Crystal were already out of the store and I was behind them. One lady walked in. So we were in there for 20 to 30 minutes and there were the three of us and then three other women. And... I know for a fact five of us in that half hour did not purchase a single item. And anytime we walked by the store, it looked like nobody was in there besides employees. Why wouldn't they change that store into a Jimblery or even a Crazy 8? They probably would have had people in that store buying stuff. Anytime we walked by any of the kids' clothing stores, they were busy. The only store that really wasn't busy like clothes wise for babies or kids was when we went to Carter's and we were at Carter's at like 7 30 at night I think it was it was between 7 and 7 30 it was it was getting pretty late when we were at the Carter's so and the mall wasn't as busy at that point the mall was starting to clear out because the mall was getting ready to close so you know at close they weren't busy but there were other people in the store and that's why I'm like, why wouldn't they put one of their, like, Jimblery, which is their midpoint line, or even their cheaper line into this mall, where they would actually probably make, you know, sales in a day? Instead, they might sell, they might have, like, $1,000 in multiple transactions instead of two transactions at $200 each. Like, the outfit that Crystal liked for um, Landon or Joshua... It would have been over $100 for her to buy that outfit. And then, basically, now Jimblery is starting to look closer and closer to their higher-end counterparts' prices. They've already... I mean, they dropped the quality years ago. So their quality hasn't even been what it had been. And these are, this is Baby Girl. Their quality isn't even near what it used to be. But yet people still would buy it because it was Jimblery and the cuteness of you would be able to buy a whole matching set. Like I could, like these shoes would go with a line or this romper would have, this, this corduroy overall would have 
two or three different onesies or shirts that would go underneath it that matched it. So, yes, this is a rant video about Jimbleree, and yes, it is first world problems. I know this. But Jimbleree is literally putting the nails in the coffin, their coffin themselves. They're already having issues, so they come out with this wonderful new Jimbleree that they've been hyping everybody up for. And so far, I have yet to see a single person that likes it. So, leave your opinion down below. Go check out the new gym, the new and improved Jimbleree. And let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see everyone later. Bye.